we're all in these windows that connect us to each other in the world. And I'm gonna encourage you to reach out to the edges of your windows and connect to all of us and you know, Bob and Doris, you have two people in the same room. You could even hold hands if you wanted. But the idea is, is that we're connecting from our windows across the world to each other. And whether you, you're actually physically reaching out or just imagining reaching out, reaching out so that we connect from these windows as we're coming into the welcoming prayer. And so we embrace this moment as it is and come in and embrace this moment as it is. We're going to take our time into the welcoming prayer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so grateful that you're all here and I'm going to mute you all so that you don't need to worry about making any sounds. You're welcome to make any sounds you like. And we're going to start with a welcoming prayer practice that's going to include, you'll be invited to do a little bit of movement as part of this practice. And you can do that movement, imagine that movement, ignore it. All of this is about what you need and what you want in your place, in your space, in your time. This is about your needs. So do this the way you want to do it. If I use language that does not resonate with you, please substitute your own words. Know that I'm just using the words that I happen to come into my brain and if it's not one that works for you, that's perfect, whatever that is. And we take a breath and we exhale, exhaling into the space, exhaling into this place, Exhale. The welcoming prayer is a practice. It's a practice for the connection and the consent to God's presence and action in your life in the moment. It's a practice that can be done on the breath, breathing in acceptance and exhaling surrender. There's three movements to the welcoming prayer to feel and sink into this experience wherever you are, whenever you are, this experience to feel and sink in to the body, feel and sink into this experience, the sounds, the memories, the emotions, to feel and sink into this experience. The second movement is to welcome, 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 welcome this experience. Welcome all that you're feeling, and remembering, the sensations, the sounds, welcome it all. Welcome, welcoming the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence. the sacred, the mystery, the miracle, welcome. And the third movement is to let go. We let go in that safety of the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence. I let go of the desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. The welcoming prayer can be done on a breath in the moment, but to develop the skill or the automatic response to feel and sink into the body it can take some time to develop that, that presence 
of the body. And the practice that we engage in here, the time that we take is about becoming more comfortable, more accomplished at being able to, to welcome this moment. So with your eyes closed, your soft focus, take your internal vision into the body. Let's scan the head, all the places behind the eyes, your jaw, your mouth. Scanning, sensing, anything that you may sense and feel, welcome. Coming into the throat and the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the elbows, the wrists, the hands, the fingers. the upper torso. Now just take your breath and your internal focus, the upper part of your body. Notice, where does your attention go? Notice where your attention goes. Maybe you have a tight shoulder or neck, or maybe it's the now, that space between your rib cage and your navel, or your heart, or your back, or your lungs. But notice, and to feel and sink into the body, move a little if you're comfortable with that. Move a little to help you find that place in your body. To feel and sink in to the experience of this moment. Feel and sink in. Welcome, welcome, all that you're feeling, welcoming the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence, consenting to God's presence and action in your life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I need to move quite a bit to really feel into my body, to sink in. I. I wiggle and I squiggle, shimmy, moving my head, hearing the sounds of my joints. And perhaps you can just feel and sink into your body. Maybe you're laying down and you can feel the pressure on your back or you're in a chair or standing. Feel and sink in. And as you feel, sink in, welcome and let go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, and control, and embrace this moment as it is. And now let's take our internal focus to the lower part of our body. So we were at the na'au, or that place in our, in our tummies where below the rib cage and above the pico. The na'au is the Hawaiian word for this space where the belief is that your thoughts and our emotions are felt here. So taking your attention from there and coming down to your hips, into your legs, your thighs, the knees. How are your knees? The shins, the calves, the ankles, the feet, the toes. Maybe your feet are on the ground and you can feel them and feel that presence and feel yourself being grounded. If they're not on the ground, perhaps another part of your body is, is on a, the downside and you can feel that presence connecting and maybe moving them a little bit helps you feel that connection. Moving helps me feel that connection and I feel it as I feel and sink into the body. Now I'm feeling and sinking into the lower part of my body. 
noticing where my attention goes. For me tonight, it's going to my, my hip on one side and the place that I'm sitting on there. And so I'm going to move that a little, not to change it, but to help me feel and sink in, to welcome and to let go. Welcome the indwelling presence, the divine indwelling. The let go is letting go into that divine presence, that divine indwelling. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Memories may come up, sensations, emotions. Perhaps you're cool or warm. Maybe you've had a long day or it's the beginning of your day or somewhere in between. And just notice that. How is that in your body? And take two minutes now to take your internal focus and go throughout your body and notice where your attention goes. Notice where your body is speaking to you. As you feel and sink into your body, listen. Listen to the cadence of your body. Hear the hymn of your own heart. Listen to your own bird song. Listen to the cadence of your own body. Hear the hymn of your own heart. Listen to your own bird song. Feel and sink into the body. The body doesn't lie. The body remembers. Feeling and sinking into the body, welcoming, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence, the divine being, the mystery, the miracle, welcome. Feel the breath come through your body. Notice your exhale. Notice the experience of the body. You don't need to change the experience. This is about noticing, connecting to the body, to the experience of the body. We're given this incredible tool, this intuitive tool. The body, Christ came into the world and became flesh because being a human is this amazing gift. And there's many things that can be done as a human that can't be done any other way or any other experience. And the body is, this gift that oftentimes I find that I'll just, oh, I, 
I don't want to experience that. I don't want to know that I'm feeling this. And instead, I suppress those things. I suppress the feeling in the body. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, it hurts there. And I suppress it. I ignore it. This practice is about welcoming all of those body feelings. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome the discomfort. Welcome the comfort. Welcome it all. So perhaps there's things that have happened in your life recently that have made you uncomfortable or a little nervous. So I've had a couple that happened recently that I got very um, kind of worked up. And I could, when I then took the time to do the welcoming prayer, I could feel that worked up in my body. I felt my heart rate coming up. I could feel my breath had changed. And I could feel them. And when I took the time to feel and sink into the body, I could see that a lot of the discomfort I was experiencing in my mind had to do with what I was experiencing in the body. And then when I feel and sink into the body, and again, it didn't change my heart rate. It didn't change my breath. It didn't change any of those things. But I welcome, welcome, welcome what I was experiencing. And my mind became okay with how I was feeling. My mind became, I think, in sync with the body and with the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence. Because by welcoming all that I'm experiencing, I'm welcoming the divine indwelling. I'm welcoming that presence that's here with me, that's here with you welcoming that divine presence in the body as this gift, this intuitive gift, this gift that allows us to know ourselves and to embrace it. Because when I'm nervous and, and kind of really excited because I'm going to be doing something and I'm a little nervous about it, that added heart rate is a good thing. That change in the breath helps me focus. And when I accept them and welcome them, they become tools that I understand throughout the whole being that are then part of that. And that is a gift from the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence. And to know that God is in that, that God is in me, in that divine presence makes all the difference. So this week where our focus is this listen, Listen to the cadence of your body. Hear the hymn of your own heart. Listen to your own bird song. The welcoming prayer. Be done whenever you need it in the moment. Breathing in acceptance, exhaling surrender, taking it with you into all of life's moments. <laughs>